it's me, the hobbyist. Today we're gonna talk about something big. This shit right here and make the world go round. It's the difference between the haves and the have nots. The rich and the poor. Serve sandwiches and filet mignon. It's money, honey. Now y'all, I'm the hobbyist. And I done told y'all multiple times, I ain't no mathematician, accounting, financial literacy, guidance counselor, none of that. None of that shit. But what I am is a person that is tapped in with their personal financial goals and consciously working toward creating my ideal financial lifestyle. One tool I implemented a few months back is... <laughs> Get your pet ass out the way. My financial journal, it's money green. Actually, it's not money green, it's seafoam green, but it's green. That's why I use it for my financial journal. Keep up. Catch up, mustard. Now, y'all know I love to journal, so it's nothing new that I have a journal for my finances. I mean, anything I can write about, I do write about. That's just me, that's just how I operate. That's just how I roll. But having a financial journal allows me to add a narrative to my spending and gives me opportunity to reflect, budget, and overall make better decisions for my finances. And I make it fun for myself too. Like it's not just numbers in there. I detail my feelings and give myself space to practice gratitude because that is one of the most important things that this journal is for. Throughout your financial journey, no matter what your specific goals are, it is important for you to be grateful for the things you have in that moment. Because if you focus on the things that you don't have, you'll never have enough. Oprah said that shit. Loosely. She loosely said it. I think she said concentrate, but who gives? Well, I like sitting up here saying concentrate. Focus. Like this new camera I got. I hope I inspired you to add a narrative to your spending. It's very important to get on top of your finances. It doesn't always have to be stressful. Write a story about your finances. I sometimes come in and say, girl, now you know you was wrong for going up in that store and spending all that money on plants. But shit, this how much you got left in your account. So what you gonna do better next time? You know, I do stuff like that because you can go back and read it, reflect on it, see how you feel. If you're looking forward to making like a big purchase or something, you can talk about how you're feeling about that purchase, what you're excited about. Talk about things that you have coming up that require you to buckle down financially. Talk about vacations, anything that has to do with money. I put it up in my journal, honey, period. Narrate your life. It's fun. Be on the lookout for more videos on this topic because, you know, I just love it. I love it here. And I'm going to keep on doing what I got to do. Now, you know, I might not post weekly, but when I do post, you know it's going to be doing the most. My thumbnails are going to be thumbing. My videos, you know, my lips are going to be shiny. You're going to see the glare in my glasses. That's just what the fuck I be on. Here we get to the point and then to blank. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. How the fuck I turn this off?